Hi everybody. Today we're gonna review the T-Mobile Home Internet. I'm just gonna quickly open the box and show you the content inside the box. So the first item that came out of the box is the instruction manuals. So the next item is the modem itself. I just put this in the better light so you can see all the ports in the back. So there's a power port and a UPS external power port. So in my usage, I've only used the one on the bottom. So only one power port is needed. Then there is the on and off button and the USB-C port and also the SIM slot. You can also see two Ethernet ports. So let's see the rest of the content in the box. It also includes an Ethernet cable and a power cord. Okay, let's see how it looks once it's plugged in. So once it's turned on, it has a T-Mobile logo on the top that will show the signal stream. It's going to prompt you to download the home internet app on your phone. That app is going to manage this device. So I just went ahead and got the app. So one thing I want to mention is that you don't get static IP and uh, every time I restart the machine you get a new IP address and also if you need port forwarding you might not be able to do it. Uh, there might be ways to do around that, maybe you can get a VPN. So once you scan a code from the bottom of the device, it should all be set up and you should be able to access the device and uh, start using it. So here it asked for the Bluetooth connection, which I really have not used it. I think you can still use the device without the Bluetooth. Uh, I just used Wi-Fi. Uh, it's still connected and there was no issues. So after the initial setup, uh, it's gonna ask you to find a place in your home that has the best signal. So I kind of moved it around and find a spot that has the uh, better signals. So finally, after everything was set up, I was able to use it and uh, test the speed. I'm gonna show you what 
the speed is like. So I was able to get about 88 megabyte per second on the download and about 8 megabyte per second on the upload, which is pretty good. So for comparison, I'll show you my internet speed from my other internet cable service provider. So I also want to know how this internet performs in the real world. So I put it to a test on Steam. So here I want to see what happens if I download something and watch a video at the same time. So I'm able to get about 10 megabyte per second and uh, still be able to watch a 4K video. I think that's pretty good. So that's it. That's T-Mobile Home Internet. Do you think I should keep it? Please leave a comment below the video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.